my name is Mariana Chavez. I am a principal engineer with the City of San Jose. I work for the Environmental Services Department. Uh, the City of San Jose owns the San Jose Santa Clara Regional Wastewater Facility. The facility services the City of San Jose, the City of Santa Clara, Milpitas, and all the South Bay, including some uh, service sanitary districts. Uh, we treat around 100 million gallons a day. It's such a large facility that everything is big, so it's very impressive just to see how everything is happening. Where we are here is the digester complex at the San Jose Santa Clara Wastewater Treatment Facility. As you can see, we're in the middle of construction. The existing covers and mixers have been demolished. All the mechanical equipment is gone and we're in the midst of the structural upgrades. So this will make the tanks more seismically robust. These four digesters will be the four thermophilic digesters in our T-pad process. That's temperature phased anaerobic digestion. So these will do the heavy lifting. They're at higher temperatures. They'll make more gas at higher organic loading rates. We'll have state-of-the-art mixing, feed, gas management, and it'll bring this facility into the 21st century in terms of having a solid stabilization process that'll provide a pathway to Class A biosolids that will be more O&M friendly and will increase gas production for renewable energy generation. Construction out here has challenges. This is a 60-year-old facility. There are lots of Lots of unforeseen surprises. We're tying in to a lot of old facilities here at the plant. Some of these facilities require restoration. Uh, so we're doing a significant amount of mitigation. But there's a great deal of effort and time that goes into coordination, what we call PSRs, process shutdown request. Everybody's working really hard to keep up with those. And we're doing this while we're keeping the plant process going. These are the DAFs, or dissolved air flotation thickeners. This process basically makes everything downstream more efficient. So by upgrading the thickening process, we can do more with less downstream. Instead of needing all 16 of the facility's digesters in the future, we'll only need nine. So we save on the cost of upgrading those. And by upgrading the DAFs, we can get away with only using half of the installed tanks and leaving the rest for future use. This project, as part of the capital program, is significant for the city because it's the first one of a large number of projects that will completely renew the treatment facility. Uh, we provide service to the whole South Bay. Uh, we're very proud of the high quality effluent that we produce. And we have the commitment uh, with our residents and our tributary agencies to continue to provide a high level of service and quality. Uh, once that we finalize with this capital program, we will have a brand new state-of-the-art facility. Uh, we're very proud of the work that we do and we want to continue servicing the South Bay.